Okay, we turn to risk management, which is at the heart of really everything that we are doing in terms of information security. It, it defines what we need to do, it defines what we ought to do, it defines uh, how we do it, uh, which parts are, are most important. This is, this is risk management. We are needing to uh, break it down in, in process terms into risk assessment. Uh, that is sort of the, the immediate level. What are the risks? What uh, are the uh, relative risks amongst the, the group of risks that we do identify? What are the, uh, the most important, uh, the, the ones that we need to address? Then, well, that's, that's leading into risk analysis. Which parts are most important? out of, uh, you know, a whole collection of, of risks of various types to our various assets. And again, you know, going back to that uh, diagram of the, the interrelations between risks, vulnerabilities, threats, exploits, risk agents, and, and of course our assets at the, at the center of all of this. Uh, so, uh, Analysis, you know, giving some initial thought to this. Which which parts are most important? Which parts are uh, most significant? Which are going to uh, justify the greatest commitment of resources? Um, and to a certain extent, uh, starting to think about which um, uh, types of controls... Uh, safeguards, countermeasures, remediation uh, are going to be most useful, most effective. And, uh, yeah, our, our uh, you know, risk remediation, risk mitigation, uh, or, you know, again, going back to avoidance and acceptance, you know, uh, the, the aspects of that um, that we've already talked about. We, in regard, well, you know, now, you know, as we're starting to get to that level, we're talking about risk management. How do we risk? Uh, uh, how, how do we manage those risks? How, you know, of the uh, safeguards, controls, countermeasures, which are going to be effective, which are going to mitigate, which are going to remediate most effectively, and so justify the commitment of resources. And of course, our resources are always uh, fixed. They are not unlimited. Uh, we uh, need to justify to senior management uh, additional commitments of, of budget, uh, of person years, and, and so forth to address um, emerging or increasing risks as technologies change as tech, new technologies with new dangers, with new threats to the organization come along. Uh, all of those types of things. Um, when we're, we're dealing with the analysis um, and, and, you know, feeding up to, to the management, um, we're going to be looking at a risk quadrant um, looking at risk in terms of is this um, is this important or is it just urgent? Um, but uh, we we look at the probabilities and we look at the impacts. Uh, and again, you know, as as mentioned before, um, risk always involves some aspect of probability, likelihood. 
is, uh, uh, you know, what's the, the probability of this particular threat impacting us, of this particular threat uh, hitting us. And, and so, uh, you know, we always have to determine, is this a, a high likelihood or low likelihood? And, uh, and then we look at the impact. Uh, if this does happen to us, what, you know, how significant is that? What is it going to do to us? How is it going to affect our business? And how uh, significant, how much is that going to cost us? Uh, what will we have to do if that indeed happens? And of course, now we, we form the risk quadrant. And we're looking at issues that have a, a low probability of happening and uh, a high probability. And we look at issues that have uh, a low impact for our business and a high impact. And of course, we, you know, th there are going to be risks that are in the low impact and low probability. So, you know, it's not likely that they're going to happen. And even if they do happen, they're not going to have a great impact on us. Okay, we can ignore those for the moment. Or at least, you know, that's not our, our primary concern. Our, our first concern is in the other quadrant that has both high probability that this is very likely to happen and high impact. And so what are we going to do about those? Um, that's... Uh, you know that's that's first off what you're going to do and as as we start to address those and ensure ourselves that yes we have some protection at least against these really uh uh important aspects then okay what are the ones that are uh maybe high probability although low impact uh such as for example uh getting a virus infection or a uh, low probability but very high impact, such as a, a regional disaster, maybe a flood. Of course, we've you know, got business continuity planning that we're going to address uh, those types of issues. So um, those, you know, that, that quadrant becomes a very valuable tool for us in terms of um, where... Where do we fo focus our attention? You know, hopefully we are not ignoring it. You know, eventually we want to look at everything. But when we have uh, limited resources, when we're starting up, when we are in, in a completely new field of vision, business, you know, that high impact, high probability area is, of course, the first one we start with. And then uh, into the ones that are uh, either low impact but high probability or high impact but low probability and and leaving the low impact low probability for last so and we'll get into more details later